Julie. I'm Alyssa. This is Stitching at the Cabin. It is. Can we talk about this necklace for a second? Yeah. It's pretty. It goes with your shirt. It also looks like a peacock. Do you know which necklace this is? Peacock? No. This is the one Steve gave me. Oh, and that he sasses you about yes. all, the all the time? all the time. Saying that he spent all his hundred money on this necklace and I never wear it. I don't wear these colors. I barely ever get dressed. So when I put this shirt on, which I hardly ever wear, this is the first time I've worn it in probably five years. The, the shirt, not the necklace. Then he gives me, like, a hard time because I don't wear it. I walked in wearing it. He walked right by me, didn't even notice. This is the problem. He just doesn't notice when I wear it. Because so why would he notice? He's a dude. And... Exactly. So this is my son Steve gave me this necklace. Can we all appreciate for a minute that I am wearing <laughs> the necklace? Because uh... I'm wearing the color that it goes with. Yes. Good mom moment. This is a channel about stitching. <laughs> Sometimes, most of the time. Sometimes. Today is May 14th, 2020, approximately 5.31 p.m. We usually film on Wednesday, but somebody had a really bad day yesterday, and for once it wasn't me. Yeah. I actually did feel bad for her. Pretty Aww. much everything that could go wrong yesterday went wrong. Yeah, so it's fine. It's better today. today. So that's cool. I had coffee, and then I had energy drink, too, so... This is what gives me energy for this. It's the only day I drink it is just when we film, right before we film. So I have some energy. Little boost. Jazz hands. Boost. I saw a post on um, Stitch Mania on Facebook mm -hmm. and somebody was asking about the floss tubes that they watch, mm -hmm. why, what do they like about them and stuff. I learned a lot. I learned that everybody likes something different. Nobody likes the same thing. <laughs> it's impossible to make anybody happy. So. There's yeah. no key. There's no, no magic. But what reminded me of it is somebody was saying, or actually a few people said, I don't want to see people drinking. So I'll do my best not to drink that in front of you in case you're one of those people that doesn't like drinking. Glub, glub. But if he walks in with a lemon drop, bets are off. That's, that's it. Ooh, lemon Sorry. drop coffee would be absolutely Mocha. disgusting. Brought to you by... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tums, brought to you by Tums. So this is week... Of Stitch mania. mania, la 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 la, Ooh. mania, it's here. Bye everyone, <laughs> except for the people that like that. Yeah. Hi, two of you. <laughs> um, because we didn't film yesterday, I had an extra project today. Yeah, gotta spin the wheels. I have a tiny bit of haul. And we've got some other. I was reading your other because I couldn't remember what I had told you that you said, oh, you should tell the people. I wrote it down. I wrote it down so that, that we smart. wouldn't be like five what minutes of, huh? What was it? Yeah, you had some interesting stuff in there. Yeah, okay. So, do you want to do yours so it's a Julie show? And yeah. I to... Yeah, I'll do mine first. Mention, she worked on Bookshelf yesterday while I worked on the project, Stitch Mania project from yesterday. But she doesn't want to show you the Bookshelf. It's not enough to really... We already we have so much straight. I have to edit. Oh, it's the it. editing thing, yeah. She's lazy. Yeah. Oh, well, she's done like eight projects, so <laughs> I need to, and then I have two that I've worked on, so. Plus the temperature tree. That's including the temperature tree. No, my tree. temperature tree oh, is yeah. in addition. So, um, okay. you'll see it next time we work on it, or if I work on it again, maybe. You'll see it again this month because I've only spun it once, so it'll spun again. Spun. Spun. It's gonna spun again. Spun I spun again. it. So I still haven't made it to the beads. I thought I was really close last night. I brought it to bed in the, um, with the intention that I would finish all the normal stitching I last night. I talking about Mill Hill Hedgehog. Yes, sorry. I <laughs> spun Mill Hill Hedgehog, which I took out so that way you could see it. It's this little guy. Some Hide your face. on that thing said that they like to see things longer. Yeah, I'm trying to do that and take more pictures because our pictures just turn out better than the us holding it The pictures are much better color than this, so I apologize to everybody that are coloring this off. Although I'm still clean. trying to fix it. This it looks does better, look right? better today. That the wall actually looks kind of greenish. I know. I'm trying to fix the color. I don't know why. This is like a really nice camera. It's the most difficult thing to work with. It'd be easier to just 
It was a phone. I think we probably need one of those ring light things, but I'm not too. paying like three hundred dollars for a ring light. I don't feel that cool. I love you guys, but I mean, I I'd feel like an imposter. Three hundred dollars for a ring light. <laughs> three hundred dollars is stitchy yeah, stuff. No what kidding. would you do? Exactly. Stitchy. So, anyways, stitchy, stitchy, stitchy. I was in bed last night trying to do hedgehoggy, and uh, I realized that I wasn't quite done with all the stitchy stuff, and then I recalled that eighty <laughs> percent. 80% of this project is basically backstitching. I mean, it's all backstitched. I don't know if you can see. Everything is backstitched. Everything. And it's like three or four different colors of backstitching. Can I see that while you discuss? Because yeah. I have not seen the different colors. Mostly, yeah, I just can't see even his tell. little prickles. Yeah, no, but in the pattern. There's some down there. Yeah, in the pattern, you can see that oh, there's some right there. Yeah, the more you look, the more you realize this is a very complicated mill. I don't really see three colors, but I believe you that there's four. One, two, three, four, bright five. Green, light brown, very light brown, very dark brown, off white. Some of them are straight stitches. Some off of them white. are two stranded back stitches. Yeah, one of them just says C yeah. step one, which honestly I don't know what that is, and I'm concerned that I didn't do step one There's first. Flower in milk. Step one part must be in the thing. Look, this one says step one. C step one C with step a very light one. brown. Uh oh, Where's what was the very step light one? brown? Do you see it? Oh, like those? Is it supposed to go under? I want to make Excuse sense. us while we discover things. Look, that's that, right? Wait, the very wait, light this, brown? The, 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 the dot strips? ones or the strips? Yeah, it's the dot. I don't know why I'm showing you on both. It's just this. <laughs> it's the same thing. Very light, light brown. brown. Okay, so And then it yeah. says C step one. So those. Don't let people see that pattern. Okay. I can do that. You're holding the thing I need. Oh no, but see the, the instructions aren't in here either. Where's step one? Oh, I didn't copy the back. That's why I was confused. Step one, do all stitching first as charted with designated stitch and floss color before attaching the beans. Very really, beads, not beans. Very really light brown, back stitch the nose, straight stitch elsewhere. So I oh, think so it's just it's saying just step one when you back do stitch. Because it, it is here on the nose too. So back stitch that, straight stitch everything else. There's a billion and two. Oh, I There's a billion and two steps in this pattern. I really don't think it matters that much if you showed it because who's going to be able to find light brown, very really light brown, dark brown, off white, medium dark, ish brown. All of this is to say that this is what I've done. Look at little hedgehog. Can you see them? I can't, but they can. I think. I'll show you in a second. I haven't put in the flowers yet, but almost all of the actual hedgehog is done. Except for all the back stitching, I think I have two colors left on the hedgehog. Two, two, two. and it's just like a total of twelve Aww. stitches. they so cute. There's some so flowers cute. over here I gotta do, and then everything else is back stitch, and then I can do the beads. So do you still like Mill Hill, or are yeah. you like angry now? No, I like them. I just always underestimate. I always think it's so small, it's so cute. Underestimate the sneakiness. I can do this today. I'm gonna finish it before the next floss tube. I've never done a Mill Hill. I did that one Santa cookie thing on the perforated mm. paper, but that wasn't Mill Hill. There were no beads. Mm. I do, the beading is my favorite part. The stitching is like, I mean, I don't know. I could stitch on other things and that would be faster and easier. But once I get to the beading part, it's like, I feel special. Have you considered doing one of those all beaded projects? So there's no cross stitching, it's just all beaded? That might be too much. Oh, okay. That might be a little too intense. Okay, you want to do the, the, the tree? Tree. Da, 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 tree. So I have something to admit, and it's that. Uh, do I know? Yeah. Okay. It's that. Um, oh, I we have switched switch programs. No, it's not oh, me stepping so on it. Was it. I stepped on it. A bit. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I stepped I on it the other day on accident, and I just. I, I don't know, I broke in the moment I accidentally stepped on it, and I just kept my foot there, and all my weight on it, and I'm like. Staring because it's in a bag, it's in a grocery bag, <laughs> and I'm like, where my foot is? Would I be actually stepping on the fabric? <laughs> yeah, I think my foot is in the fabric. Like it must be through the Q snap. Yeah, where it is, I would have to be stepping on the on the thing. And I don't know why I didn't just immediately, you know, put my foot up, but I didn't until after I went through this whole thought process. Sure enough, there was a nice little like fist sized <laughs> dent in the middle, but it's fine. I just, you know, tightened up the Q snap. Cool. She's telling me this earlier after it happened and and 
I thought she was done being funny, and then she said something else, and I <laughs> was trying not to laugh, but I laughed anyway. You snortled. And I, yeah, I snortled. I spit like a tiny bit, and I was like, this is why we have to wear masks. And now I get it. It's for the funny people. <laughs> Um, no, what I was gonna say is my admittance is that for the <laughs> first for the first three and a half months, I was using one program and I switched to another program, which I believe is much more accurate than the program I was using before because the weather station is much closer. By program, she means where she's getting her data, where not I'm getting like my temperature keeper or anything. Yeah. So temperature program. Um, I when I was like cross referencing, and this new program is, um, I mean, I'm not gonna say considerably different. But it's different enough that pretty much every day would have been a different color, like one off, you know, because it's like a three temperature range, three degree temperature range. So the rest of the year, I'm using this other program. It, it seems tracks to be more accurate. water better and it tracks the weather because yeah. it's like at the gas station that's the closest to my house. So that's why she switched because she was having trouble finding the water. And I said, oh, use the one that I've used before. By water, we mean rain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm doing special. I think it's weather underground water. rather it than is. AccuWeather. Yes. Because the, the pattern suggests AccuWeather, and I get why, because it's got the yeah. whole calendar thing and all that, but so does Accu... No, so weather does Weather underground. underground, but Weather Underground also shows you Ooh. how much water, and rain, <laughs> snow, sleet, hail... Has happened in the past. Snail. And it actually tells you where the weather station is, so I can actually pick which weather station in my city I use. Can I ask a question? I guess. It's weather related. Okay. In the mountains, sometimes uh -huh. we have what I call snail. It's it's oh. not hail, but it's not rain. And I think it's sleet, but I don't think I think I looked up sleet and it's not sleet. So that's why I call it snail, because it's like sleet, snow, hail. No, that's is it like harder maybe than it sleet? Is sleet? I don't see it. Maybe it's just that I don't know what sleet is. So a snail is a mixture between snow and hail. Oh, it's yeah. not snowing because it's too hard, but it's not hail because it's too soft. That sounds what, like sleet. What is that thing between snow and hail that I call snail? Is that sleet? I don't know. Maybe I never when looked I, up sleet. I don't know. When I, I don't hear know what sleet, it is. I think slushy. Yeah, I think I do too. And this is hard, but it's not hail. It's little. It's like snow, but painful-ish, probably. Interesting. It's little tiny snows that are solid-ish. I think we should be show people our tree and then explain okay. Celsius because <laughs> okay. I think this all kind of goes together. I have not done today or yesterday. You? Have it done today. Okay. Everything else is caught up. Oh, he Ready? Waves over. Yeah! <laughs> I have gone green. You might green. be able to tell. I have gone green as well. But we were just hoping not to get out of green, and we didn't, and it's supposed to warm back up mm -hmm. a little bit. So. A little bit of green right there. Got back. And then I've been looking at the temperatures the last two days. It's been 55 up there as the high for the last two days. So I'm a little worried that I'm not even going to be green anymore. I'm worried that might be back to blue. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> um. Nothing happened. Trees are yellow and now green, and they're gonna go back to hot. Yeah. Yeah. The, the yeah. You changed at. programs, and now it's yeah. gonna be different. Different program. Your tree is a tree, and my tree is a tree, and they're treeing. Now you have to Celsius this. Okay. Right. Right. So I saw a video that ex that was explaining Fahrenheit to people who are on the Celsius system, which I don't know why I watched this video because I'm on the Fahrenheit system, so I know Fahrenheit, right? Maybe you were hoping it was something you could reverse yeah, engineer. Yeah, I think so. When you started I think you're telling right. me, I was like, okay, whatever this is, I'm gonna reverse it. Right, Fahrenheit. because Celsius, not I so do much. not understand. I believe I like zero degrees Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but then I also saw like negative 14 degrees Celsius is the same as negative 14 Fahrenheit, which does not make sense. Maybe you're wrong. You want me to look it up? I'll look it up. Yeah, but, look it up. Um. No, I'm gonna look at your fact okay. check. Fact check. You could have just asked Dinosaur Pet. She'd tell you stuff. Hey Siri. Oh. No. <laughs> what is negative 14 degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit? Minus 14 oh, degrees no, Celsius. That's wrong. I did give you wrong ha! information. I fact check you. Where are Celsius and Fahrenheit the same? China. Negative 40 degrees. Mm. You look close. Not really. <laughs> you, you got the full range in the wrong spot. Um, yeah. So the temperature when both Celsius... 
And Fahrenheit scales are the same as negative 40 degrees. That's really loud. Can yeah, you that's, hear that? that's not okay. Some bass is rumbling. Okay, that's better. Okay. I don't understand Celsius. I understand Fahrenheit. But there was this video, and in the video, the guy was explaining Fahrenheit. He's like, the way I understand it is to look at Fahrenheit as a percentage of hot. <laughs> so if it is 100% hot, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, it's very hot. You are, you are hot. That is 100%. the max of comfortable hot. Like, that's just hot. 110% hot is very stupid hot. You shouldn't go outside. 40% hot is like cold. really cold. Like, you probably don't want to go outside. 70% hot, pretty okay. 80% well, like, hot seems pretty comfortable. Yeah, I like between 70 and 80 degrees. So 70 to 80% hot is, is my it's operating pretty fine. temperature. And it works for all the temperatures in Fahrenheit because we scale like normal humans should scale. <laughs> don't insult <laughs> Celsius people just because you don't understand it. I apologize, <laughs> Celsius people. But if that helps you, that's so you don't have to do weird math to like figure stuff out. Just think of it as just percentages think of, it as of hot. Percentage. Yeah. So, so today I think it was probably 70s here. It's yeah, I said it was 70. high 70s. I'll tell you what it is like right now. It is 73 degrees, 72 degrees at the moment. So 72% hot. Yeah. Pretty so comfortable. Kind of nice. Yeah. The, and the video got so popular, people were saying, "What's the trick for Celsius?" And he's like, "I don't know. I don't really Celsius, understand no. Celsius." I don't <laughs> And that's when the thing came up about negative 40 is, um, see, not 14, 4D. Negative 40 Celsius is the same as negative 40 Fahrenheit. But at that point, it's just so cold. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that they're the same because no, you're just cold. but that just goes to prove that the scaling doesn't make sense. I, I'm How actually, can they be the same? I'm going to blame Fahrenheit on this one because probably the metric system, which I assume Celsius is sort of because they use the metric system in other places, yeah. Celsius is more metric-y to me. I, I'm gonna say they're probably onto something and we're just, well, well, we've got our inches and feet and pounds. I and don't know, because what I keep thinking about is like, okay, so it gets 110 here, right? Mm -hmm. But like, hey Siri, what's 110 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius? 43 degrees Celsius, right? So we have more numbers to express like the temperature right so like there's a big like that's almost half or maybe that's less than half right like that's yeah 50 there's a big difference 100, between so. 72 and 76 or 75 like it's kind of a big difference so do you use decimals like do you say 73.2 out today or is it just 73 or not 70s okay, so, okay. so like 23 is it 23.2 degrees or is it just 23 or 24 and you're just kind of in a big temperature range. Um, I do apologize if you hear things. I think Steve is showing dad that light thing and it's making, the light is making bass noises. Pretty much. You no, know, I think that thing he's using to show the lights. It, it won't keep going. Sounds. Please don't shut it off thinking I can't listen to an entire video of this. It stopped at the moment it. and I think, I don't think you can hear it, but at least it's a low rumbly. I can handle low rumbly. It's the high pitch. Somebody, I was watching someone's video and they had this high pitch sound. I was like, I can't do it. I want to, but I can't. I can't listen to long high pitch. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. It's the Julie show now. It's the Julie show. Okay. okay pack so stuff. you watched what I spun last week, and it was. I had to spin Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you saw of all of the spins. So let's start with keto. This was Thursday and Sunday. Both were travel days, which made it difficult. But I did accomplish stuff. I did, um, Thursday I did 450 stitches, Sunday I did 440. Wow. So it wasn't, you know, Show oodles off. of noodles. But I was noodles. I've also added um, more threads, because we've moved on to bluish. Well, that's exciting. We're bluish now. So, and there's that base again. Perhaps you could, you know, Text him to stop that. <laughs> I could attempt. Hang on, show me this though first. So, yeah, a long time you got to look at it while I said nothing because I was thinking about how to stop the base. It's a whole bunch of black, and now we've moved into kind of some bluishes. Bluishes. So I'm so close to the bottom of the page. I mean, I still have obviously 
Well, the page. And look, I moved needle minders over to the side. Yeah, you they were did. Getting, They're not all huddled anymore. I kept getting everything caught on this dragon. Everything was getting caught on the dragon. I was The dragon was spinning. It was all tangled. I was like, no. No. So this, that's been called twice now. I just did that again. Um, so that is the last time you will see Keto Poor this bae. month. I apologize. He'll come back. She'll come back. It should be a she, huh? Mm. Unless Keto's a dragon. Uh, yeah, I think you really enjoy the dragon, I'm so. Sure the dragon. And it has a blue bow, so clearly it it's, a, a, it's a boy bow. dragon. <laughs> yeah, because bows. <laughs> That's manly. <laughs> um, and then Friday was my Chatelaine, and this is the last time you'll see that this month because that was the second time. I don't know how many stitches I did because that's on um, Good Reader. Is that yeah, that's called. Yeah, yeah, that's on Good Reader instead of Pattern Keeper. So I don't count my stitches. I just let Pattern Keeper tell me. Uh, that is not up. Which way is up? This way is up. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say pink flower down. <laughs> so um, I did a bunch on this and probably a little bit more on that. And oh, and I started down there and I think I finished that. I don't know. I don't know. You'll see the before and after. You tell me what I did. But, uh, oh, and I think I did more than that. So, I was a little sad I didn't get to do more because I feel like I was getting close. And I, I think the, too. I think the back stitching on that bigger flower, I should stop putting my face on it so it stops moving. The back stitch, blah, 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 blah. Back stitching on the bigger flower, I think, is going to really make it pop because it looks like it's probably some really pretty bluish purpley color. Um, this one? Yeah, that one. <laughs> Big finger. I'll turn it back around so you can see which one I'm talking about. We'll see, because I just Good. pointed. Well, I want to show them! Okay, you yeah. show them! Don't you people with kids love us? <laughs> this flower. It has some pointy... It reminds me of like a, a windmill. Oh, okay. It has like a windmill shape to it. So. Gotcha. I'm sort of excited about that, but alas, I can't work on it in May. That's... The, this is my thing with Stitch Mania. I get into the project, I'm like, oh, I want to keep working on this. And then I have to change the next day. And then I'm like, oh, I love this one. I want to do this one. And then I change this and I'm like, ah. Do you see a thing? Do I have to do that 31 times or do you? Yes, because otherwise I think you only <laughs> meant it three times. <laughs> do you know which three? <laughs> uh, I have um, to say though, I don't think I could keep this up long term, like every month. Especially with the new projects, it's a lot of work to start a project. Yeah. But also to move things during the day, because I started out up here, and then I moved down to the office, and then sofa, or to the cabin, or... Lots it's a lot of and moving, and some things don't travel as well as others. You should have sure. seen me with the keto. I had to take two bags to the cabin to get all the projects in. Yeah. Thankfully, it wasn't snowing, so... Okay. Um, whoa, whoa, so whoa, that whoa, was whoa. The helicopter, yeah. it is back! I, I was actually... I was angry about this helicopter thing. We've had planes, helicopters, weird helicopters, planes, helicopters. We have had a lot of military equipment flying over the house today. Tomorrow it's supposed to be the Thunderbirds. And she set a timer so we can go out and look because I know approximately what time. But all this other military stuff, I do not know what's going on. You always have a lot of military stuff up by the on the other we side of the mountains. We get these right? ospreys, ospreys, osprey. The one, the the ones that's a helicopter and a plane. Helicopter plane, helicopter plane. <laughs> Those. My son said the ospreys. I don't really know. I was gonna call it something. Else. I just call them helicopter planes. I think I was gonna call it a Harrier jet. Kim's over there going. Oh. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that does. I mean, not while it's flying. Well, it kind of does. does. Just not as quick. Yeah. <laughs> Flying through helicopter the plane, helicopter plane. <laughs> anyway, those things, there's two of them, and they circle over the mountains outside of the house, and they do it at least once a month, just for like an hour. They circle. I have no idea why. I'm sure they're practicing something, and they're probably trying, 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 probably trying to do it in a place. Could you imagine the closed captioning on that? We've given up on that. <laughs> I stopped that. Um, I imagine they're trying to do it over a place that's not inhabited and it's between two major cities, so I think that's why they're doing it right there. Yeah. But you it drives it. me crazy because it's like we had outside mind. my office. And it's like a nice hear, hum. <laughs> it's a nice hum. It's a soft <gasps> rumble. But it's for hours. But you don't get dynamite explosions. No. My house, the other morning, I was like, Jacob, do you hear it? He's like, 
what I'm like the explosions I think they're doing explosions down off the other exit again and he's like okay I'm like okay he just doesn't believe me that's fine <laughs> and then they did the next round because he's more awake at that point and it was just you could just hear it you couldn't feel it but it's the sound where you think there should be a rumble you should feel it if you hear that sound and there's a few of them he's like wow I said, uh huh. He's like, there's explosions. I'm like, yeah. I they have mines. You. They have mines by the way. Yeah, they do we like to. We don't know. I think it's the asphalt. There is a lot of asphalt places over there. Yeah, probably. So I think they go, boom, and then there's asphalt. Yeah, they do, and but they poof, do like well, asphalt. 18 dynamite explosions, and then it's quiet for like 30 minutes, and then there's more dynamite explosions, and it's fine. But anyways. Apparently, you have to explode dynamite out. out of the. Asphalt mountain. It's explode asphalt. Oh, it's explode <laughs> asphalt <laughs> out of the mountain. I'm sure it comes out just like a road. Yes, perfect. <laughs> that is how you build new roads, don't you know? <laughs> I'm totally kidding. For those of you freaking out, I've seen, I have been to the asphalt place. For one of the customers, I have been there. I have made deliveries. I have seen. You sound like a liar. I have seen raw asphalt. Lies. Asphalt. <laughs> All right, what did you spend? Okay, did you so spend then a bird was. Hyacinth, that was ah. on Saturday. You posted a picture of your hyacinth on Instagram. I saw that. I try not to post on Instagram because I feel like if you see it there, then you won't watch the video, which is probably stupid. But I that's so. why I don't do it. I think you're really silly. often. You are ridiculous. I did a lot of filling, and I'm really super happy with how my hyacinth is looking. My baby Momo. Little Kevin. My mommy. Heavy mo 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 Still a little scary, but And there's more definitely. down there, but I had already done that, so this was what I was working on. Mostly the front, but a little bit of the back. Your back looks actually really good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it really, really does. That is on African Sunrise or Sunset from Fabric Flare. I think it's 28. Now. It is African Sunrise, right? Oh, wait. Is or it? Sunset? Sunset. Earlier today, you said Autumn. African. You said autumn, and oh. I was like, I was pretty did sure it's African, African, but I didn't want to correct you because I you know, know everything. I do know everything, but I, in my head it was African. I'm sorry if autumn came out. No, you did, and I. But but are you proud of me? I knew I'm, it was African. I'm very proud of you, but you should have said something in the I, moment so I could have slapped you. I and then yeah, exactly. You I didn't want you to hit me. I don't, yeah, I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> I don't hit totally anybody. Totally just joking. <laughs> everybody in my family jokes that I hit because I'm so not someone that would hit, and so. You know, my husband's always saying, she beats me. Like, we'll be talking to somebody who doesn't, like, know us that well, and he's like, oh, I couldn't do that because she beat me. I'm like, Sh people are going to believe okay. you. That's still better than my future mother-in-law telling everyone at the family reunion that I was pregnant just to see what their reactions would be like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I win mother-in-law. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I mean, you're the mother, but Jacob, yes. I think I would win. <laughs> mother the mom with that. Okay, so then Monday, you want to guess? Guess. Go ahead, guess. I'm like, do I know? <laughs> do you know? I don't oh, know you which one is Monday. I know. It's in this bag. Does that help? I do know. Which one? Baroque. Yeah, but say that loud because I can't say it. Baroque. So that's she said the... she was really excited about this one, and I haven't seen it yet. No, this is not the one. I said it was. Oh goodness. yeah, shades of plum. Yeah. Well, I just okay. got them confused in my head. Well, they're similar. They're geometric. Yeah. This is baroque. Although I mean, it would be in color. It's, oh, sorry about the bandaid. I I have to wear this bandaid for like all of eternity, at least until they lift the COVID restrictions, so I can go back to the doctor. <laughs> but that sounded bad. I don't have a disease. It's not contagious or anything. I'm fine. You are a danger to yourself <laughs> and others. Just saying, you always see this band-aid. You guys have to wonder why for like six months I've had the band-aid on. And... It's inevitability. Yeah. I'm disfigured now. <laughs> oh, so look at that. I moved down a box. Wow, so you got two geometrics and the same. Yeah, day oh, after yeah. day after day wow. after day. So yeah, I went down the box. That's so just, this is much larger that. than I thought yeah, it was gonna be. It's big. It's big. Um, should I tell you the problem? Yeah, you should. Do probably. you want? I mean, I I, I guys tell you guys all my issues you did so and much. and Sorry. I feel like like I can't watch her because she just is full of mistakes. But I want to be honest that like 
I'm so, human. I that way all of you guys who make mistakes make are like, well, all, at least I'm not Julie. <laughs> make you all feel better. And then you can say, oh, I did a Julie. Okay, so... <laughs> I don't know how this is going to end up looking long term. But you do. I don't understand. <laughs> the distance between this... The, the Get closer. Top, I need to see this. The top of this box to the first stitch there. Oh. This is one row too low. But I had uh, done all this correctly and I did not realize it until I got down here and went to put that stitch in and it didn't line up with that and that. And I was like, wait. something's wrong. Wait, 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 wait. There's an extra row of not okay, stitched. in this gap. This whole entire, this whole top box should be up. One. One. So I'm thinking, what do I do? Because I'm, there's no way I'm doing the entire thing. So I'm like, well, I'll just move this. I'll make it even on this side, what it's supposed to be, because I can't fix the outside and, and whatever. So from here on out, this entire top of the oaks, there's three on the top, they're going to be one too low. And I think it's going to look weird in the end, but I'm hoping because it's only one low, it'll I be okay. I think you'll notice. Think I'm hoping you don't notice. I think you'll be okay. Because I don't think you really notice now that the gap between... No those two boxes is not the same as, you know, the top I do gap. not notice. Yeah, like I don't notice that that's more than that. I mean, maybe, but whatever. There, there are different kinds of squares, like this one has a solid flat border and this one doesn't, so I think yeah. it's too hard to say if it's wrong. But I did find that when I was working on it, this was covered because I had the Q-snap down. That was my non-crazy stitching part. That was that thing that looks too nice see how pretty that is but then you see that so I think in the end I'm gonna end up picking that out and redoing that one little section I mean mm. we'll see I'll wait till the very end yeah. and if your eye is still drawn to that I will um I'll fix it Switch every out. once in a while it has these really like it's extra light both of these spots like it's not every piece of floss it's not everywhere oh you didn't take a picture no I did but oh. I mean on your little white spots okay so people can so, there's like one there, <laughs> there's like one there, and one there, and I don't know, I don't know why those spots are just a little bit lighter. There must be like one section of floss that's light, but it catches my eye every time. <laughs> what, what's that? It is, it is a little bit brighter than you'd expect. Yeah. Hmm. So, that was Baroque. If it ain't Baroque. Don't fix it. But it's kind of broke. Mine is broke. <laughs> but I ain't gonna fix it. Except that top part, maybe, possibly in the end. Okay, so then we did another spinny weenie. For the record, the dog is here. So just in case I touch something weird and the shrieking happens, it's the dog. Be warned. Um, okay, so then the next day was Shades of Plum. So I had my first new start. And it was like a geometric, sort of monochromatic like this. And I was like, Weird, two days in a row. I have fallen so in love with this that if you don't like it, I'm gonna come over there and throat punch you. Like seriously, if you don't love this, you don't love me. No. If you don't love this, you don't love purple. <laughs> so that. I think both. <laughs> I demand that you love this. That, the co I just don't think that's picking it up very well. But anyway, that's what it's supposed to look like. As far as I know, I have no mistakes. This is on um, <gasps> Ren. Is that, that not... That was a good color choice for that fabric. Is that not just like... I wasn't sure before. That I is, am sure now. And I'm a like, needle, needle minder. This is the same. I yeah. am so in love with this. I wish I had had more time to work on it. Oh, no. Hang on. Bad things. Hold up. There we go. I cannot wait to work on this again. I am so, so happy. That is, I oh, believe it's gorgeous. Picture This Plus. It's Ren. Is that Picture This Plus? Where's the thingy? I don't know. <laughs> it's in there someplace. Somewhere. It will say it. Because I didn't peel it off. There, there it is. is. 28 count Ren Lugana. Picture This Plus. So. Wow, is this one going to be this big too? It's 18 by 18, I believe. Wow. How big is your shadow lane? 
Um, well, it's on a 17 by 17 Q snap, and it's big, so it's bigger than that. It's bigger than 18 by 18, but not like a huge amount. Yeah, I don't, I don't know for sure. The thing was, I um, started this in the morning up here, and I didn't have any kind of ruler or anything, so I'm like trying to guess. And I had plenty of fabric, but I ended up, I thought that was going to be three inches, but it's not. <laughs> that's more like two. Yeah. But it'll be okay. I mean, that's plenty to frame just the yeah. way it is. And I mean, that's obviously the quality. But don't you just love that? Yes. I love that. Yes, I, I really do like love that. Love that. I like the fabric a lot more now that I've seen it stitched. I told you before that I just can't imagine what it would actually look like. Yeah. Now I see it, and it is gorgeous. This is um, 249 by 249, the stitch count. Okay. And then I was going to tell you my shadow lane, but it's actually over there. The, I mean the shadow lines right here, but the yeah. pattern is actually over there, so I don't, I don't know. That's I think okay. It's, I think it's similar to yeah. that size. I'm just not, not positive. Okay, I need to move my legs. They'll give me the dog may screech. Still oh, goes the dog. I mean he's still up under the blanket, but he's moving. Okay, this is weird. All right. Mm -hmm. Today is the 14th of May. I have spun the wheel. Presumably 14 times, right? Yeah. Yeah. I got three new studs in a row. I had no new studs, and then I got three in a row. So that was the first one. And then came, uh-oh, dogs roaming, ice cream birds. Now my meadow fabric store I've heard nothing about, but I had the clouds, so I said, stuff. <laughs> Something I probably shouldn't repeat. I don't use profanity. It's fine if you do. I don't object. I just don't. But, you know, I said screw it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> it <rhymed. laughs> that means it's true. So, Ice Cream Birds is... And this one I didn't get as much done as I could have because I'm bobbinating as I go. Which is a pain. Which is a pain. But as I use a color, I bobbinate it. So, that is ice cream birds. This one, the Cree Collection. Who ate my ice cream? Who ate it? <laughs> um, I worked, because you're not, when I hold this up, you're really going to be like, what are you talking about? I did a little bit of this cup thingy in the top and a little bit of his little finger there, and then beak and beak. So, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Sorry, Look at me. that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that! Switch! <laughs> Look at that! So yeah, that's my cloud. A little. He's on cloud. Cloud nine. So I like the I like the colors. They're really pretty. And of course yeah, the, the back stitching. The back stitching will separate the beaks and and I realize that a lot of this cup like blends in down there, but with back stitching it won't blend in. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I need to take a picture of that. And I started it a little bit higher up because the bottom of this fabric was so blendy. So I started it a little bit high because it has plenty of space. So I started it a little bit high to get more of the cloud. Yeah. Cloud in. So at first I wasn't sure if I liked it because like the day before I did that Shades of Plum and it was so beautiful and this was just so black. But then the more colors I put in the more I liked it, the more I was like, oh, it's all pretty, and the bright colors, and it's fun, and the kind of blendy, and the colors are the I like best. It. I like it. I don't, I don't know how to get that back in there. We'll just sort of poke for now. Are you bored already? No, that was my first yawn of the episode. <laughs> just oh, really get impressive. A yawn. Here comes the dog again. Okay, so today was equal. Some of the yeah. So this is on 32 count vintage gray from All in All Lee Productions. Um, that's what's called full, except not 32. I think it's 40 count, but I'm old. I'm old enough that 40 count's not going to happen. So that's that one. Oh no, you stuck with me. So I did. Uh, you'll see. It's it's pretty obvious, but I did that way. I initially had a different needle minder on, but it was so heavy, I couldn't, I'm having to stitch this in hand because of the size, and I'm not using my, I think it's like a six by six, I'm not using that one, she's looking at the dog, because um, I'd have to move it too much, so I'm just stitching this in hand, which I 
don't love doing, but I had to change needle minders because that one was just too, too, too heavy. Everything intensifies. It so there you go. The color is not showing up super well, but. I really like it, and it's it's pretty quick. It's quicker when you don't make mistakes. I don't, I don't know if you knew that. That's kind of surprising. <laughs> There's a dog here on that. We had to cross the. Of course there is. Thanks, Taco. You should he's, bring him. To yeah, he's sniffing the bookshelf, <laughs> like the stitched bookshelf <sighs> thing. A massive project. Come here, doggy. So that is it for progress this week. Oh, is that all? That's it. <laughs> all 872 different... I'll fix that in a minute. Different projects. Come here, doggy. Come on. Good boy. He's a good boy. Um, so, let's spin and then I'll do haul. Okay. That sounds right. Then we know what we're doing. So how many are you spinning? Just one? No. Because I'm going to the cabin tomorrow. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll spin three. Okay. You guys keep getting the long spin thing, the multi-spin. Multi yeah, multi-spin. Had we filmed yesterday, you would have gotten one spin. You go first. Oh, you want me to spin first? Yeah, I thought you were going to. Hey Siri, what am I stitching this week? <laughs> it worked. She's offended. Okay, no. viewing. Tiny decision says universe jar. <laughs> What's viewing? <laughs> okay, <laughs> viewing. Did you change what that name to viewing? No, I don't know what that means. Universe Jar, though. I like Universe Jar. Okay. That's cool. Now, you want to know what my name is? Hey, Siri. What's my name? You're Alyssa, but you asked me to call you Princess Rainbow Bubblegum. <laughs> Princess Rainbow Bubblegum. <laughs> my phone calls me Jules if I tell it to call me anything. Anyways. Okay, Universe Jar for me. Woo! Okay. I like Universe Mommy. Jar. It's happy. It's above Instagram. That's how I find it. I was playing with the new storage, making sure stuff was in there, so I'm on the wrong wheel. There we go. I am ready when you are. Are you going to spin it? Oh, I'll spin one. You can spin two. You can spin. Okay. I'll take turns. So Friday is temperature tree. That has not been called, and I do need to put more trunk in. Not Perfect. crazy exciting, but, you know. Doable. Doable. That whole side of the so wheel hasn't been touched yet. I know. Saturday is rack stack. I'm, we're going to have to figure something out in case I finish that. I thought it said rock attack. <laughs> it's like a rock attack. attack. It's very scary. And then Sunday. The castle. You're so excited. You know what's you driving me crazy? It. What? The one project that has not been called the entire year is Celtic Summer. And still, it has not. The wheel doesn't like it. I guess not. It was right next to it, too. I'm sorry. Okay. I vote that what you do is you work on the castle Saturday if you finish Rack Stack. No. <laughs> Why not? Because that's not much training for the new start to <laughs> finish Rack Stack. Okay, so what are you going to do? You lost your know. dog. I don't know. Something small. But I don't know. So it'll be a surprise? Yeah, it'll be a surprise. I got to think that over. This is my this is the last video that's going to be edited on my computer. I got a new computer finally so it doesn't crash when I'm editing, and so hopefully it's a lot faster and I complain less. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm getting to the point where I'm really gonna stop wanting to do floss tube. No, it's fine. I just I just needed a new computer. It's fine? Are you excited and you wanna do it? As long as editing goes smoother now, I'm fine. <laughs> or it's great. Yay! Okay, so I have some haul. It's just hot in here. I'm sure most of you have probably heard by now that um, the attic needlework in uh, Mesa, Arizona, they had that uh, Facebook page that was um, like a last chance stuff, and you had to go on the page. It was a whole pro- <laughs> Talk about my necklace. It's a whole process. <laughs> he didn't mean to. <laughs> he pulled it down. Um, it was a whole process. Well, McKenna, 1884 Stitchery, she has somehow taken it over and, and all that stuff is now mixed in with 1884 Stitchery, mm -hmm. so you can just go on the website. And I had seen one of the live sale kind of things before the attic switched over, and there was something I wanted, but I didn't want to go through all the hassle to do it. So yeah. I didn't buy it, so I went on 1884 and, and she still had it, so... 
I bought it, but you know, things can't travel alone. And I know some of these are weird, but everything was like crazy cheap. I mean, I'm talking like $2. So, don't, no judging. No judgment. No judgment zone. This was the one. Just make sure he doesn't do anything bad. You don't have to stare at him the whole time. <laughs> he most likely I'm bringing won't. him to Steve. <laughs> Problem is he yells at me if I pick him up. Be okay. okay. So I pick him up. Now you can. There you go. Please don't yell at me. Please don't See, yell at me. He's Please fine. He still thinks oh, I'm he's holding such him. He's an angel. He is an angel. He's fine. Hey, where are he's you? Fine. He's fine. Oh, okay. Lord. She's seen these, so I'll just show you. This was the one that I purposely looked for. That was the one that I had seen. It's uh, Home for the Winter by Blackberry Lane Designs. And I, this was all I thought I was getting. It's supposed to have. Um, no, this isn't the one that's supposed to have. No, that one's fine. But it came with um, 40 count fabric that I didn't order, so I don't know if... Don't be suspicious. Don't, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I don't know if... I don't know. But it was with it, so... I mean, it wasn't like inside, but it was on top of it, so... What I've learned from this is that 40 count is not my thing. It I is was, a little too small. I was, I tried holding it yeah. back. I tried hold mm, Even for me, like I could tell where stitches, I always say X's, where the X's are supposed <laughs> to go. I know where they should go, but I think it'd be very hard to count anywhere except for one. Like, And it might be because it's dark, but I'm I'm not prepared for that, so I will find something different. But that's that's one. And then I had seen this before and I put up my wish list on um 1, 2, 3 stitch, and it went on sale on 1, 2, 3 stitch, but McKenna still had a better price. It's Love Mini Quaker from the Hurt Needle Art by Wendy. I don't like this picture, but... Yeah, the picture I don't think is that great, but... She insists that it looks a lot better in person, which I believe. I mean, I haven't seen it in person, but I've seen a picture of it someplace else, and it looked better. I mean, yeah. it cannot possibly look like that. It's too, like, washed out. You can't see it. It cannot possibly look like yeah. that. I think pictures are always just... They just never... This is Bird Houses in My Thistle's Garden. And I just really thinking. like the color. The colors are pretty. I'm hoping yeah. there's no glue. No, there's right not. There. Right there. Right here? Yep, that's fine. How about this? Yeah, that's that perfect. perfect. Is that helping? Add some deep rumbles and <laughs> really got it. I just really like the colors and blues that. and purples and light and yellows. This is the strange one, but there's something about this I just like. And it was we cute. giggled a lot. She showed yeah. me the other day, and we both just we just giggled. I I did enjoy it. Welcome, little stranger. Like for a baby. I little strangers. I'm little stranger. I just really like that. I come little what stranger. I think I say it in a voice in my head when I read yeah. it. Like, if I just read, welcome, little stranger, I'd be like, okay, that's kind of weird. But if I say, welcome, little stranger, just, it's like, ah, they're a little stranger. Yeah, like, they've been inside kicking you forever, but they're little strangers. And they pop out, and you're like, oh, that's mine. And they're strange. Yeah. <laughs> this one was the one that was supposed to come with um, an acorn trinket and beads. Trinket and beads, but it didn't. But it's okay, because it was, like, super cheap. It is uh, Nice to Meet You by the Trilogy. I just thought it was cute. The doggy cool. and the birdie. Yeah, yeah. Apparently there's others. I don't have the others. I just have that one. It's cool. So, nice. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh my no. Band -aid fell band -aid off. Band -aid malfunction. See, now you can see my finger. I'm not distorted and disfigured and diseased. Okay, I had a wart on my finger and I was going to get it treated, but then this COVID thing happened and so what should have been the last treatment? It did get rid of the last one, but there was a little bit below it and so I'm treating it at home, but you have to keep it covered because they like, they like light They're and breathing. fresh air. Yeah, breathing yeah. light. So if you keep them covered, it's supposed to help. So I'm just trying to keep it small enough till I can go back. So fun stuff. Could we get over this COVID thing so I can get my finger fixed? <laughs> Please. So, well, I guess technically I am diseased. Yeah. Because I think it's a form of herpes, but... <laughs> no, wait, what's it? Not herpes. What's it a form of? Um, the thing they always test you for when you have your pap smear. Um, I don't have Chlamydia. it. Chlamydia. No. <laughs> no. No. 
Annapolis. The thing I don't have. No, no, the thing I don't have. Oh, 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 oh. Um, um, Wait. HPV. Oh, So, like, yeah. this is a form of HPV. And so I said to the doctor, I'm like, but I, every time I have a pap smear, I don't have HPV. So I only have to get tested, like, once every five years. And she was like, no, honey, it's not. I'm this just going to say different. honey. But she's like, no, that's not the same it's thing. Different. But she always looks horrified because I've said it twice now. And she's like, what is wrong with you? So anyway, moment of truth. Judge me. Judge me all you want. That's why I always have a Band-Aid on. But it just fell off. So... Ooh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Yeah. I just close my eyes. I'm for the best. You want me to rub it? On Jacob thinks he's getting one on the bottom of his foot. Like, Don't touch me with your foot. You had one on your foot once. Yeah, I did on my but toe. Like, went away. She self treated and it went away. I've been self treating for like yeah. three years, and then I finally like I went to the doctor. And they're like, wow. I mean, mine was a few months, but it wasn't three years. I had like four little tiny ones in one spot, so. And that treatment is freaking painful. I do not envy. I have had children and they are not as painful <laughs> as that. She was telling me that she had a patient, a man that came in and she treated him exactly like she treated me and told him to come back the next month. He didn't come back and then he called her and he well, actually called her the next day and he said, why didn't you tell me it was going to hurt this much? I am never coming back. So he probably has a giant growth, but he couldn't take it. He wouldn't come back. I've had four treatments. Yeah. It is so painful. And I used to have one on my thumb. So they were doing both at the same time. And I went to type the first time after. And I hit Hitting the space, space bar bar. and I fell out of my chair. I was like, <sighs> oh, so painful. I apologize to anybody that didn't want to hear that. And I sympathize sympathize with anyone who has had it done. It sucks. I am not diseased. Stop judging me. <laughs> okay. Okay. I am diseased, but stop judging me. Okay. Other. <laughs> so for anybody that doesn't like want that to hear that other <laughs> already. Anybody that doesn't want to hear about stuff. Pie, thanks for coming. For the rest of you, brave souls. Yep. I did not get as much stitching time as normal because we are doing stuff at the cabin. And I said to him no, but it didn't matter. I ended up doing it anyway. It is the beginning of summer. It's the time of yeah. projects. So not only are we doing the fire clearance stuff with the pine needles and pine cones. I don't know why I'm saying we because he's not doing it. I am. But Winner. he was doing a project that I'm very happy with. He finished it, but I had to help. I had to dig the trench, help dig the trench. He pickaxed. And I shoveled. I think we had this discussion before. That's pickaxe, that's shovel. And that um, then I had to fill in the trench after to get an electrical from the garage shed thing to the gate. Because now, after five years, I think we've been there five years, after five years of me having to get out and unlock the gate and open it and close it every single time we come and go, every weekend, mm, whether it's cold, hot, sunny, rainy, snailing, whatever it is, I have to get out and open and close the gate. And it's like a combo lock and it takes a while to line everything up and push it in and pull it. He put an automatic gate on it. So now you just push a button and the gate opens. And you push a button and the gate closes. And there's still a code for people that need the code. There's still a code. He put a keypad out and stuff. Mm -hmm. It is amazing it is phenomenal it was worth digging and missing stitching time I'm glad you think so yeah i wasn't sure how you felt yeah, about it. i love the gate i love good. the gate i love 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 the gate good but now he's talking about an incredibly major project that is going to require help not starting this weekend but possibly next weekend and if we do do this project i will take pictures so you can see the before and after because this is going to be such a giant project. You will be shocked right faces. Right at the end of Mania. Shocked faces. Yeah, yeah. But we, if we're going to do it, we have to do it right now. Have to, have to, have to. So, yeah. Okay, your turn. With the Tyson, mm -hmm. my have dog. You, oh, you don't have that video because it was live. No, but we can do it again. Do it again. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> he is very replicable. Um, Tyson's my dog. He is. He hasn't been for the vet for a while, but when he was last there, he was 95 pounds, and he's been on a weight journey. I don't know if he's up or down. He's either 110 or he's down to like 80. 
kind of just fluctuates. He's a giant dog. He's like a German Shepherd that's white. I mean, you'll see him. And we've asked, like, we went on the Reddit pages. I don't really understand how Reddit works, but we figured it out for one day so that way we could post on a ID my dog page. And people didn't know what he was. They said that we should get a DNA test, but the DNA tests are almost as expensive as a human DNA test. And now that sounds I love him, but head. it's like that, that much. What? Took a DNA test. It turns out. Yeah, okay. We don't know what he is. I don't know what 100%. What? 100 per. What? Shh. So. Listen to Alyssa and don't look at me. <laughs> As she drinks coffee. <laughs> um, anyways, he, uh, really learns tricks very easily and very quickly, especially if they are low impact, like if he doesn't have to do a lot of work. <laughs> so anyways, Hunter, which is Jacob's sister who lives with us, likes teaching him new tricks. And the other day she decided she was going to teach him how to spin around in a circle. Um, and he got it within 30 minutes. He understood what it was. And so I have, I will take video and put it here. Tyson, sit. Good boy. Tyson, can you spin around? Spin around. Good boy. I think that's it for other. I guess there's something else I was going to say. I did look up the grape thing. You're supposed to chop them, but not now. Wait till, wait till December-ish, and then hack your grape plant down like 90%, but leave the important part, the main part. Just in case you were wondering while she's looking up whatever it is she was gonna tell you that she can't remember. Oh, man. Oh, the blue tides! The blue waves! Oh! Because I have pictures of that, too. Um, in Southern California, and I think in Florida, and maybe in other places, don't know. Let's just go within Southern California. In the ocean. <laughs> there in are, the water. <laughs> there's like red algae and like all these tide things that are happening. And at night, there are blue waves, like bioluminescence in the water. So you can really see them really well at night. And we live close to the beach, but like not real close to the beach. So we, um, being Jacob, Hunter, and I all went, got in a car and drove down to San Diego um, to La Jolla, not La Jolla, yeah, despite how it's Jolla. spelled. And uh, we went and saw them. We watched them for like an hour. And I have, well, Hunter's phone was the only phone that was like cool enough to take photos. And they're not great, but like you can kind of see. It's just very, it, it looks like blue electricity flowing through the water. Super cool. I See it right before it goes. Whoa. So Stitch Mania continues next week. You know the next three. And then Bye! <laughs> Thanks Toodles. for visiting with us. See you next week for Mania Part Jazz 3. Hands. Jazz fingers. Tell me what snail is.